this is part two of the video. So let's continue our conversation. Of what is there any other stories that come to mind? Uh, yes, there's yet another BJ story <laughs> in your early life. Do I have any other early stories besides getting blowjobs? <laughs> yes, you have some more stories. <laughs> but these were the dramatic, outstanding stories. All right, let's hear the dramatic ones. Well, the other one was you and your little cousins were, <laughs> you were probably, I think, three? Oh, this was, this was not, I, if the story, I want to get this straight before you even tell the story. This was not a biological cousin. No, no. <laughs> uh, you were three and she was four. And then your other cousin witnessed it and came and told me. And she was probably, she's younger than you, but she was only two. All right. So, so you guys um, were taking a bath. And um, you went into the bedroom to get, you know, you had your towels all wrapped around it and stuff. And so your little cousin, I'm not going to mention any names, <laughs> came down and said, Charmaine, come and look what Jason and Blank does. <laughs> and so I said, okay. So I come up to the bedroom, and there you are standing there with your towel undraped. And she's down there just <laughs> having a heyday. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's not nice. <laughs> that, that's not nice. <laughs> I, I think that I was actually traumatized, not by my <laughs> early sexual experiences, but what, by your reaction to it. Yeah. Oh, that's so not nice. And then uh, she says, oh, but he likes it. I was like, yeah, I bet he does. You are a cock blocker. <laughs> and you were proud to show me of all the wonderful things that were happening. Oh, I discovered I discovered some great new things to do. <laughs> yeah, so from then it's on... It's one of my you, favorite pastimes. <laughs> I'm sure it is. <laughs> from then on, you guys had to wear underwear in the bathtub. Oh, man. This is before we knew anything ever happened. I, I don't remember that. I don't even remember that, but I'm sure that I was probably traumatized by... Because I can even remember... You like, didn't seem too traumatized. No. And I tried to play it down. That's why I just said, Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> you don't want to do that. But, why? He likes it. But, but most of my, like, early sexual experiences were, like, retorted with... That is bad or dirty, and don't do that. I did not. I just said it wasn't nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but I was... I don't know. I was, oh well. well, I guess... I was speechless. I guess, I guess you couldn't just let free love with toddlers go un, uh, uninhibited. <laughs> no. Like, oh, yes, it's just natural. <laughs> Go with the flow. Uh, that's funny. Funny, funny. funny. So, what what do you think about... Well, this is... I'm not going to release the even part one of this video until I have 12,000 subscribers. So what do you think of 12,000 people that like to watch me and listen to me talk about stuff on YouTube? Oh, well, that's pretty awesome. I remember when you were waiting to get a thousand. Yeah. Now it's up to twelve thousand. Yep, it'll be twelve thousand by the time people are watching this. Pretty awesome. It's got a lot of interesting stories. <laughs> I know. Uh, just, I definitely have a lot of stories, and I haven't even really scratched the surface on a lot of my like travels and. You know, right, but, you're a world traveler been all over the place and lots of I don't know it's cool it's cool. so is this why you're playing the game you're making me no I like I, I go and so I'll record like whenever I'm playing I just record everything and then you do commentaries over the videos after you play them like there is some live commentary where you're actually talking while you're playing the game 
but yeah. this is like just commentary after the fact. So you record it after it's already the game's been played. Okay. And I stayed up until six o'clock in the morning last night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Uh, you, Were you actually on? Yeah, I was uh, playing, with, playing? playing with friends, yep. I didn't wake up until like 2 o'clock this afternoon and then laid in bed watching oh TV God. stuff to get out of bed until 4 o'clock. So it's really my morning. I'm just getting my day started. Yeah. But Got your days and nights mixed up. How do do? There's thunderstorm warnings here. We had thunderstorms here yesterday. Thunderbolt of lightning, yeah. very, very frightening. Uh, at night? Yeah, when, right when I was getting, right before I got off work, like 8 o'clock last oh. night. Scary. Yep. So, let's see, what's, uh, oh, let's talk about some of my early, early gaming stories. Like, what, when can you remember me playing games? Talk about well, the very first one was the asteroids. Yeah. Asteroids. Yep. Yeah. Asteroids. Asteroids. You were in the asteroids. And we actually had the actual arcade asteroids game. Yes, we did. In the basement did. of our house, so I remember playing. Yes. It. And the, and the door was just open, like you normally have to put in quarters. And I remember you could, the door was just open, so you just start pushing the button, and it would virtually put in a lot of quarters in, so you could just play forever. Yeah, who got that game? I think it was it's your dad, dad or, or, or Jeff. Okay, yeah, I remember that the real game. Yeah, and there was a uh, oh, what was the other one? Space Invaders. I think Space Invaders. Were oh, the, Space Invaders. Yeah. Yeah, where they fly down and you have to shoot them. I can remember playing those. I was pretty young, and I think we had we had games. I remember playing like Puyan. I actually posted a Puyan game from that Commodore computer that we had. Remember when you sold it? And I was mad. I'm like, why'd you sell that computer? Like, I don't recall that. Yeah, I was. Oh, I, was very... I would sell. I would sell a lot of things. Oh yeah, we have to go into those <laughs> stories too. Yeah, that that gets on down the road. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're. This is kind of a, a progression. Ta just talking, <laughs> talking. About I don't my recall life. the computer. Yeah, there was. A, we had this computer. It had tapes. Like you had to load the games off of. Yeah, audio, I remember audio, that. Off of uh -huh. audio tapes, and there would be games, and one of them was Pooh Yan. It was like a pig who would go up and shoot arrows at these wolves that are trying to go up and eat the pig. And he sold it to like the, the milliners, I think. <laughs> okay. And you got mad at me? Yeah, I was like, because that was the only computer we had. That was like one of the first computers, <laughs> like when computers just came out. I'm like, oh, well, did, who, I know. Who did we get a new it? one or something? Was, no, there was no replacement for it. I didn't have another computer for years. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I was fascinated with computers. So that was that was like a, a big thing for me. It's like one of my first. That was like, right, because when you were. Um, you were three years old, and we had a school, a Christian school over at the church. Yeah. So I was in the kindergarten class, and you went with me, and we didn't have anything for you to do, so we stick you on the computer. That would be your entertainment all day, was you were on the computer. I'm still on the computer almost all day. <laughs> I know. You've been on one. You cut your teeth on a computer. Yes, I did. They came out. <laughs> Right. And then in between your gaming on the computer, you come out in the kindergarten class and go through the kindergarten class, learn to read, and then the next year when you were four, I took you to public school and they said, oh no, he's too young, boys usually can't make it till they're six, because you had a birthday, you know, right with the yeah. cutoff, so and I said, oh, I think he'll make it, because you've already been through kindergarten at three. So I passed kindergarten at three? <laughs> yes, but I sent you back at four because it was a Christian school and you just halfway did it, but you kept up with the five-year-old. You did everything they did and learned to read at three. A little boy genius, huh? Yep, sure <laughs> were. All right, so we're already at end of part two of the video. So, oh, wow, there's so, so much more. I know. This is this will be a, <laughs> a lifetime. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
So I'll put a link on the screen again, and they can click, and it'll be part three up after this. So. Okay, man. This could go on forever. Yeah, it could. Now you'll get me up all night. I'll be talking all night with you. <laughs> oh, yeah, remember this? All right, so we'll be back on part three.